welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie, and in today's video, I have something a little different. I thought that it would be really fun to try on a bunch of different wigs that I got on Amazon.com. Now, I have always, always, always wanted to have bright, funky, eccentric, exciting hair, but I just could never dye my hair for a couple of reasons. The first reason is I always grow my hair out to donate it for kids with cancer, and whenever you are donating your hair, you cannot bleach your hair. I have darker hair. My hair is red right now, but I didn't have to bleach it for that. And for somebody who has darker hair, in order for them to get those bright, eccentric colors, you do need to bleach your hair. So I just don't want to mess with bleach because I grow my hair out for a reason. The second reason I could never have that bright, fun, funky hair is because I am a teacher and I just can't go to work with like bright blue hair or pastel pink hair, etc. So I thought that it would be really fun again to test out some wigs that I bought on Amazon.com. Now I haven't even opened up the box yet so this is going to be a true try on and a true review. I did a little bit of research on how to actually put wigs on and I will go through that whole process with you throughout this video. But I don't know, I just really thought that this would be an entertaining video and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. If you have any other questions and concerns after watching this video, just ask them in the comments below and without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first thing that I found out when I was researching how to successfully put on a wig is that if you have longer hair like myself, you should French braid your hair and then wrap it around and bobby pin it to the top so you kind of have like a French braid crown around your head. Apparently that's a lot easier to work with than just wrapping your hair up and putting it in one of those nets. So that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to do this perfect because it's just going to be under the wig, but I am going to French braid my hair and I'm going to speed it up for your viewing purposes. I have never done a French braid crown before, so I'm really just gonna wing it. I'm assuming you're just gonna wrap your hair all the way around the opposite side, and then you're just gonna put it in place with a bobby pin. It really, I guess, doesn't truly matter what this looks like because it's going to, again, be under the wig, but I guess you don't want it to be super sloppy so that the hair doesn't come through and poke through the actual hair on the wig. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> One side done. Oh, this is not a cute look for me. This is not a cute look for me at all. What is this? I mean, it's serving its function. So and now for the fun stuff, look at how beautiful this wig is. It is so, so pretty. It has a lot of unicorn vibes in the front where the bangs are. We have this baby blue and then we go to this lilac all the way down to this pastel pink. It is so, so pretty. I will link all the ways that I bought from Amazon in the description below. Again, I believe they're anywhere between $10 to no more than $40 if you want to get one for yourself. So first impression for this one, gorgeous. This is more of a cosplay wig. When I went on Amazon, this was listed under a cosplay wig, which means it's a wig that you would typically wear if you are dressing up like a character rather than a synthetic wig that you could wear for everyday purposes. But again, first impressions, everything. This wig is gorgeous. So now I'm going to try it on. I don't know the first thing about putting on a wig. I did watch some tutorials online, but that does not mean that I'm going to master it. So please bear with me because this might take a little while to get correct. I'm going to go, I think front to back. All the ones that I read online said that you should go back to front, like put the wig on from the back to the front, but that seems, seems a little difficult. All right, I'll try that. I'll try that first. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> what is my life? What is this? Okay, I definitely have to fix this up a little bit. I don't love the bangs. Okay, let me fix it. 
It does have little clasps that you clasp together to make it tighter and make it more sturdy. And I do appreciate that because I think that this was the cheapest wig out of all the ones that I bought. Oh my God, this is not cute. All right, I have to work through it a little bit. So I will say this would be really, really fun if you're wearing a costume because this is absolutely perfect for costume purposes. This is not necessarily something that I would wear out on like a daily basis, but definitely something for a fun little night out. I'm just pushing all of my hair underneath the cap inside of the wig. Oh, that fits so much better. So I mean, it's fun. I still have some hair over here. Okay. So, <laughs> upon putting the wig on, I don't know, I don't think I have a head for this kind of a wig. What do you think? I kind of love it, I'm not going to lie to you. It's so different though, but it's really fun. Here's the second wig and I have to say this one is definitely a little more my speed. That first one was a lot of fun, but nothing that I would ever wear on public. This one I might actually wear on public if it fits my head right. I love the colors again. The colors have been so freaking beautiful so far. This one is a teal and black ombre and what I like the most about it is it does not have bangs. I was not a fan of the bangs on the first wig at all. So I did like the behind your head to the front of your head method. So I'm going to try that one out again for this one. And this one also has the clips to make it tighter and more secure on your head. So here we go. How did I already mess this up? <laughs> what? Wait, what am I doing with my life? What just happened? Wait, what did I do? I messed it up. Front to back method, it is. Oh yeah, that was a lot easier. All right, here's the part. Oh, it feels so weird to have short hair. I haven't had hair like this in so long. I'm kind of digging this one. I kind of like it a lot. Obviously I have to fix it and make it flow a little better, but I like this. I bet this would be so much fun to wear with a hat where it's kind of hiding the root section. I bet nobody would be able to even know that my hair is actually underneath this wig and the wig is not real. I will say upon like brushing it through with my fingers, a lot of the hair is coming out. It's like all over my legs right now. But it's not real hair, it's just synthetic hair, so you kind of have to figure something like that is going to happen, but I like this so much! This is so fun. This one is my favorite so far. I know I only tried on two so far, but this one definitely, definitely takes the cake. Here's the third wig, and to be honest with you, this is easily my favorite out of all three that I've tried on so far. It is definitely the most natural looking. It fits really, really well, and when I'm running my hands and my fingers through the wig, none of the hair is ripping out, so it seems like it is a pretty decent quality. I also really like the length on this one as well. I like it a little bit shorter, so I'm thinking when I cut my hair, I'm not gonna go that length. I'm gonna try to go maybe more this length. This next wig is the wig that I am the most excited for in my day. I have had jet black hair, dark brown hair, eggplant purple hair, red hair. I even went as far as getting those bright blondish yellow streaks in my hair that were supposed to be highlights, but never have I ever had full on blonde hair. And I've always wanted to know what I would look like as a blonde, so I'm pretty pumped to try this one out. Pulling at it, not gonna lie, pulling at it, the hair is coming out. But I mean, that's just pretty typical for all of these wigs. I love the waves on the bottom, and this is a very, very long wig. I would say this is about how long my hair is right now, only it's red and not blonde. So let's try this bad boy out and see what she has to offer. Oh my God, this is why I was never blonde. What is this? Okay, 
So, um, yeah. This is not natural looking. Oh, I had such high hopes for this one. It's not at all natural looking. It fits really nice. It fits nice and snug on my head, but it just, it looks very, very fake. Like, look at this. Mm hmm. Let's play around with it a little bit and see if we can get it to work. All the hair is in front of my face right now. So I don't know. I wanted so, so badly for this one to work. I mean, I guess I don't hate myself as a blonde, but definitely not with all of this going on. So this one's right down to here. I bet this one would be a really fun one if you wore a baseball cap on it because it would hide the top, which I feel like is the most unnatural looking part of it. But if you wore like a baseball cap with it and maybe, I don't know, I don't know if you can actually straighten this out. I'm not loving, loving the waves. And because it's synthetic hair and it's not real hair, I don't know if you can straighten it or curl it. I'm not really going to try out either. I feel like I'm a blonde headed sheer right now. And I'm sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder and not the camera. I'm just trying to play around with the actual wig and see if I can get it to work. It's, it's okay. It's just okay. And lastly, the holy grail of trendy wigs. I feel like this color was trending so hard in 2016 and 2017. It is this really, really light gray color, almost silver. And we're just gonna pretend that this isn't doing that right now. Let's just, let's just pretend that that's not a thing. Look at this wig, it's so pretty. It has the dark black roots up top, and then it fades down into a almost silver gray color. The length is really, really nice as well. I'm pulling at it and the hair is pretty much staying intact, which is a really good sign. And it also does not have any bangs. I do not like the bangs. If you look at this one though, the part, it actually looks pretty natural. It doesn't have all the hair on top of it. This is the most natural looking part that I've seen out of all the wigs that I've tested out today. So saving the best for last. Let's hope it looks as good on as it does off. I'm doing the front to back method again. That seems to be working the best for me. I just need a moment. Just one very tiny little moment. I am so in love with this wig. Oh my God, this wig is everything. It is perfection. It is just, it is everything that I wanted it to be and more. It fits so well. It looks very, very natural, even though it's like a silver gray color. It looks like I actually went to the salon and had this done on my hair. I love the part. The part looks really, really good. It is not heavy. It is making me very, very happy. This color, look at the color. Guys, wigs are fun. Wigs are so much fun. I thought that I was going to be returning almost all of these wigs because they were going to look absolutely ridiculous. And I think I'm only going to be returning the unicorn one. All the other ones, I'm not gonna lie, I probably will use that blonde one. I might use for like a Halloween costume, but this wig right here, oh my God. Oh my God. It is like the wig of my dreams. I love it. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Oh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoyed my videos. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support on my channel. Thank you for all the positive vibes that you guys send me each and every day. It means the absolute world to me. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.